the way Imagine logging onto YouTube and you see your parents doing a roast stream on you. <laughs> I, I literally have no words. It's just- <gasps> Alright, let's continue, shall we? We're almost done. No, we're not. Fuck. How does this fit in everything? And we'll cover this more in the second part, but I want to give kind of like a, li a light overview of that, and that is... Much like adding new characters to Smash... <laughs> what? The hate mob, but basically started coming at me probably m mid last year. But where it really ramped up was with no. These people took the woman who sexually assaulted me and weaponized her. And it was at that exact time when one of those people, who will remain nameless, broke, I would say, a fairly large boundary beyond just the weaponizing my rapist. But they went out of their way to go find and dig up Adrian. Adrian didn't come out of the woodwork initially. They found them. Is any of this true? Is any of this true? Like, can anyone confirm or deny if this is true? Like, that they were, like, coerced into coming out about all this shit? Anybody? And then brought them out and weaponized them. And this person, a whole big post and doc and everything was made. And again, the person in question that did this, I am talking to, they have stepped out of the fray. That is my issue to deal with. No problem. But the problem is, is that initially Adrian was going to be sending everything through this person, and then Adrian decided to strike out on their own and start doing their own Tumblr blog. When this person decided to step down because of becoming a parent, that the harassment campaign was snowballing way too fucking fast. And so, understand that between friends who were upset about optics splitting off, such as Beyond Safe Words and a number of other people, not to mention a bunch of people getting the back of a woman they had no clue of or what she had done. They just knew that they hated me, and so they just immediately assumed I was lying for some reason. No one has yet to give me any idea of what I, why I'm lying about, other than they claim I'm an, abu an abuser. But again, whatever. And then out of nowhere, my kid comes in and starts throwing out these things. Eh, whatever. And then these people begin a coordinated effort that sends in letters <clears throat> to my work that eventually gets me fired. We want to be clear. Adrian is aware that Kiwi Farms is involved, that we are targets, and they're still doing this stuff. They are still going. They decided not to take anything down. They decided to just keep... They decided to put a short pause on posting, but would still start, but would still respond to things. And then after that, that'll link last, what, like a week or something? Not about even. Yeah. Now let's be really clear, because the thread that uh, KF has made about me, because apparently I'm a local now, okay? Um, I finally made it. Um, the issue is, is that uh, because Adrian always were walk out of the fray, they now know who Adrian is because they found their LinkedIn. The reality of the situation is, is that this has escalated to the point where we've actually had to talk to the FBI. We've had to contact the police so we didn't get swatted. Like, my address can be found, given enough work. And the issue is, is that despite the suicidal ideations I dealt with for months being with no, we actually had to get my firearms back just for house safety. So when I make it clear that things have not been great, and the fact that Adrian came out at this time is, is additionally not wonderful. <laughs> I don't, I don't know if Poppy should have guns. <laughs> I want you to be very aware of the fact that this is very much a combination of a coordinated effort of people who have no limits and are willing to risk any level of collateral damage despite a woman they hate. Or it's people just calling now, you out on your shit. Well, we have years of house agreements that were signed by all of us. We have... Context for the rest of the text messages. <laughs> the NAACP. Rachel Dolezal is personally coming to save Poppy. Literally every else agreement uh, of Onision's bunk NDAs. Dude, true. That's This is literally... Uh, what did I say earlier? Transnision? Transnision? This is the Transnision arc. We don't just have the clips. We have the full conversations and, for things. And unlike Spawn, i.e. Adrian, we're willing to get on stream and actually talk about it instead of just letting this doc do it for them and then they go out of town. Yeah, bro. Why are you so scared? Debate me, bro. Debate me, bro. Did I abuse you or not? Debate me, bro. Facts and logic. Let's go, bro. Debate me. Debate me. I want to be clear that the person that also brought them out of the woodwork got lied to. Hmm? Adrian lied to them and said they didn't have medical insurance. And well, that they couldn't access therapy because of it. Let's be clear. I know how to talk to insurance, so I looked. Their insurance, as far as Medicaid is concerned, is still active. In fact, based on everything I can see, they saw their social worker recently. They're being treated for their POTS recently. Why would you just make throw it very this clear, out there? <laughs> Why? Adrian is lying. What is the and point? And I know any terrible parent can come out and say, you know, their kid is lying about these things, but I'm sorry, sometimes it's true. I'm not a perfect parent. I suck at it. I don't think I should have ever been a parent. But to claim well, that I would do something so egregious as these things is utterly insane. 
And the evidence that people are using for this is basically just the rantings of a vent channel from Discord, a series of text messages, and random Tumblr claims. The fact that Adrian is going along with this and has let things escalate this part isn't just putting our lives at risk and causing a safety issue. They are putting their own safety and their roommate safety at risk. The person that they are living with is also at risk, and that person has a lot to lose. See, this is where shit starts to get, like, kind of fucking weird. Where it's like, yeah, like, this shit's super fucked up or whatever the fuck, but that person that you're living with that has, like, that job, you know? I don't know, you're playing fast and loose with that person's well-being. It's like... Again, why does all this stuff have to be litigated on the fucking internet? Like, she does realize that she's just making it worse, right? Like, she has to... I, I shouldn't say she has to realize that, but I would hope that she would realize that she is actually just making this worse. Right? I won't say who they are or where they work, but I will say it is a fairly prestigious place, and Adrian is putting their Why life would you at do risk. that? Why would you do that? You're I literally just making it worse. Even when we started the channel, we made it utterly clear to them to never get involved in their online life. Talk about the risk. They were an adult. Like, we all had this conversation about what the risks were. We made it clear, dude, don't ever get involved. Doesn't matter what you think of us. Stay out of this. Thing. It was not for them to be limited. It was because of safety for this exact mm -hmm. reason. At one point, Adrian wanted to start streaming. And we told them initially no, because we didn't want people making claims, because making connections, because if they saw Bunny in their streams and mm -hmm. our streams, very easy to make that connection. There was discussions about them not having Bunny in their room. There was discussion, this was before they started making you know, the, the chocolate chip problem huge. Um, the stream thing was also just really difficult because they weren't getting a job either. And so we were like having full double duty trying to figure out like, dude, we need you to also be working on this stuff because uh, you need to sustain yourself somehow. So <laughs> like, how do we do both here? So again, I want to be really clear that like Adrian's leaving went like this. Adrian started looking for someone to um, rent, a, rent a room from and move to another city. And eventually they did find somebody. We had worked with them to do independence. We had them look up things of like how you write a resume. We sent them to classes. We made sure that they mm -hmm. knew what to do and how to do things. One of the reasons why we had them do chores, besides just helping us because we were dealing with a ton of men a ton of illness issues, was because they needed to know how to do them on their own because otherwise they wouldn't do them. There was concerns about their hygiene. There was concerns about this. Adrian also had a bad habit for a long time of trying to find ways to make people uncomfortable. That wasn't a habit. That was intentional. This part is really weird. Just so you guys know, this part is really fucking weird. So just prepare your ears. Like they would just outright tell me I like making that was a thing. Their favorite way was to wear underwear that was too small for them and then proceed to uh, lift their leg up in front of us if they were like or our sitting guests. on a shared... Often it was more guests. Why would you ever say this? Why would you ever... So, why? I want to be really clear here is that what happened was is that Adrian found someone to live with. They were in the process of going back and forth between the cities to find a way to make everything work. They didn't They're, have a job yet or anything. They were going to get a job in the new city, which was fine. And then what happened was, was this. One weekend appeared and Adrian asked to go to the other city with the intention of getting their keys and all that. And the problem we had was is they had already started moving stuff and our concern was if they left, they were going to leave us with their room, which was a disaster area. It was trashed. We had agreements with them already written up. So yeah. Adrian got it in their bright mind to pop the screen out of their window, throw their bags out, walk out, say, oh, I accidentally knocked the screen out and bring it back in. Of course, we were busy at the time, so we didn't really notice. Put the screen back in, call their future roommate and tell them that they were being held or something and decided to leave saying they were going to go to the store, when in reality they went to the other city and never came back. They also took out the 13 grand out of their account, never telling anyone. So all of a sudden I saw a $13,000 drop in my account, which of course I got a notification for. I had to oh no, steps they to took sure the their money. Oh no. I also had to then go through and clean this whole room. This that took... Was mostly, that was a lot of me. The room? No, I had to take apart the whole bed. Oh no, no, we did, we did a couple different things. The initial but, cleaning was a lot of me. Um, I was in here too. No, no, I know. A lot of the furniture stuff was you. Oh, no, was she's pissed. Oh, really like, Krabby Bear. Couch out. Yeah, no, no, I agree. I agree. Love just It was... It was a fucking mess between the two of us. It was it was rough. So the point being was is that this had food soaked into it. There was areas here that were awful. Adrian had a very large like high post bed, and we had to take that whole part. That's now down in our, our storage area. Um, they didn't make any. Then Adrian and Wine didn't want their stuff, and so they that they left behind, mind you. So we put it out of the house, all safe and snug inside the hallway of our apartment, and told them they can come grab it. They came and grabbed it, gave them their stuff, no problem. We haven't heard from them since. Except when some packages came because they sent them to the wrong place. Up until Adrian came out of the woodwork because of the stalkers. They had moved on with their life and so had we. But now Adrian has decided that they want to weaponize their spite. So I want to make it really clear. You're going to go online. You're going to either find a Google Doc that has a bunch mm -hmm. of nonsense in it. Mm -hmm. Or mm -hmm. you're going to find videos where people are going over this and talking about how true and cringe it is. True, it is cringe. I'm going to be honest. 
If you actually believe that stuff without any critical thinking, you are welcome to leave. Please unsubscribe from the channel and fuck off. Yeah, I guys, get the fuck out of here. Have the slightest leave. Critical thinking or be able to withhold judgment until all people have spoken. I... We have to withhold judgment until all people have spoken. You guys, did Hitler ever speak about his crimes? Did Hitler ever speak about his crimes? We didn't... Are you going to look me in the eyes right now and tell me that you're judging Hitler when you didn't hear his side? Are you serious right now? Hello? We have to listen to all parties first, but also believe all victims and believe all abuse victims, but not not this one and not the other one that I sent incest porn to. Not that one either. Uh, and also not the one that I manipulated into hooking up with me uh, and then said that they raped me afterwards. Not that one either. Uh, fuck. Um, but, but wait, 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 I haven't, I haven't told you my side yet. Hang on. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Anyone that has watched this channel knows that we try to be <clears> as thorough <throat> as possible, try to be as clear as possible, and also try to be as open with you guys as possible. When we're struggling, we tell you. When we're dealing with stuff, we tell you. Oh, uh, Queen, we know. We wish you wouldn't, but we definitely know. We've got more information than, we've got enough information that would kill a Victorian child. Okay, like, we know. You're more than happy to let everybody know. We know. The fact that these people went out of their way, not only to weaponize my, my uh, rapist, but also to find my child and weaponize them. It also is just disgusting to me that she still to this day is calling Noe her rapist. Like, <sighs> is disgusting. And the fact that they pretend that that document proves anything beyond just a bunch of claims in writing in a vent discord. Really? God fucking damn it. Is absolutely insane. And anyone Sorry, I shouldn't say, that, take the Lord's name him, that's cool. in vain on you the Lord's that. name. Never come near me again. Because I feel like if I have any conversation with you, you're going to forget to breathe. What? One of the reasons why I'm doing the talking with this is that, and I'm not trying to cut ZZ off, but one of the things is ZZ has been at the forefront of trying to help Adrian, support Adrian, and they got hurt a lot by this kid. And it took me a long time to realize it. Dude, they were literally abused by the kid. Did you even consider? Did you even consider they're being abused by the kid? Come on. It's one of the reasons I'm speaking up now is because I wanted to speak about this in a way that made it very clear that I am 100% in support of Xena. I know yeah, dude, fuck, so fuck the kid. Yeah, what, true. All the things that happened in the house that led up to those. <laughs> yeah. Really <laughs> After the shit this kid pulled, <clears throat> including having their own dishes and letting them rot in their room for weeks, or the first weekend that Sage evidence, came out, evidence, deciding to use the toaster and then leaving a package of tortillas on top. Not of the, the tortilla toaster, incident. And no. And filled the house with toxic smoke. Okay, the tortilla incident was something. The tortilla incident is fabled. Okay, the the fabled tortilla incident. You guys, was it impossible for either Zena or Poppy to like get up, walk over to the toaster that had the melted shit on it, and throw it away? Like, was that was that not an option? Especially if it's giving you like th these are toxic gases, you guys. This is literally Chernobyl in the fucking apartment. They couldn't just get up and go and throw it away. Why? Which then caused a migraine for me, Zena, and Sage. We couldn't leave our bedroom. We were literally trapped in our bedroom with the toxic fumes. Next weekend. This kid would regularly start crafts projects in the house that would then cause chemical sensitivities for both of us. I would get migraines in the middle of a workday because they decided they wanted to use their hot glue gun. You guys, did you even consider? Did you even consider that the kid used a hot glue gun one time? Oh my fucking god. You guys... They were very obviously abused. I, I've changed my mind. And we did have times where we tried to talk to them and be like, hey, if you let us know ahead of time, we can try to figure out another space for you. We can try to figure out you going outside. We try to see if there's somebody else's house that you can get. Like, we really did ask them to let us know so we could try and work with them on things, but they never did. This is where a lot of the line got really weird, was that if there was ever an offer for them to work on something with them, they wouldn't do it. They would forget about it, and then, at least claim they forgot about it. Um, and then just keep going, and keep doing the same mistakes. Yeah. So, this was the regular issue we had. I love my child. I do. I love all my kids. Right? Mm. There are kids that I've adopted over the years that I still- I love my kid. But let me be clear. I love all of my adopted Discord kids. Probably more. Okay. They'll take care of. Evan's one of them. Uh, Shiloh's one of them. <laughs> I love Shiloh to death. I love Evan to death. Ugh. I have a bunch of trans boys. They're great. No, please leave us alone. No! We tried with Adrian for years. And really tried to give them every resource, every opportunity. And they dicked off with it and fought us tooth and nail 
With the chores thing, people have made the claim that we gave them too many chores. We'll show you the list. They weren't that deep. They took maybe an hour. Except then Adrian would sit there with headphones on, listening to videos, staring at the screen. Oh, there's still so much more left to this, you guys. Was an hour of chores, I don't know if I can handle slowly like, extended to them explaining this later. abuse. So it's so hard to, to sit through. Chores. That was on them. And we did try to ask them, please. Can you stop dicking off and watching videos and instead yeah. just do the thing? And they wouldn't. I actually wrote the chore list several times to even make sure that like all the prep work was getting done at the beginning. So that way you didn't have to like run back and forth to get something ten times. We like, even let them have phone calls with their friends while they were doing it. Except then we started noticing that slow caused slowdowns. Anything It's it's a two it's a two bedroom apartment. It's a two bedroom apartment. And you guys are like, you can't be on the fucking phone when you're doing chores. It's a two bedroom apartment. And we're getting super twisted. You're getting your house cleaned for free by your live-in fucking maid. And you're like, you're taking too long. Please uh, put me out of my misery. That was a distraction they would just get sucked into. Like again, this kid had it easy. They had thousands of dollars at their disposal. They had gotten their degree in web development. And they weren't working at all anyways. They weren't doing They were sitting on Discord and whining because they had to do chores. Because they had to wait. Imagine logging onto YouTube and you see your parents doing a roast stream on you. <laughs> <laughs> Bro. <laughs> because our kitchen is small, because of the island we have and the table that we have, they had to wait an hour to make microwave macaroni and cheese that they bought that would take 10 minutes, pops, to get together along with whatever food they wanted. Part of it was just, like, there was no just weird stuff, like, when they reframed things, like, part of the issue I didn't like having them in the kitchen with me was because there was a safety thing. If I was cutting up something with a knife, they would try to scoot around me right next to me. Oh no, they tried to get around you when you were cutting stuff up in the kitchen. That's a safety concern. God, can you people do anything? and not say anything. And I'm like, no, I have a big ass knife in my hand. Please don't do that. And they kept, doing it. they would do it over and over and over again. And no matter how many times I asked them, hey, if you need to be in here and I'm kind of, please say something, you need to get around me. Please make yourself known. Like you're right behind me. Don't try and scoot real fast around me. Like don't do that. And it never worked. Never would do what I asked, which was let me know that they were there or they need to get somewhere. In what fact, am I supposed to do? In fact, one of the major issues was is between the, the chemical smells and the being around people when they're using knives, or anything like that. This was just a regular issue with Adrian. Adrian was awful about safety issues, including putting the wrong things in the microwave or um, complaining because we got them uh, the wrong Tostitos pizza rolls or things like that. Like, okay, I would complain about that, though, for real. Yeah, just so, mine. That's, that's mine. a big deal. Yeah, yeah. yeah. I, I literally have collector's mugs that were made by a place in uh, Grand Ledge, Michigan. And the joke of it was is that mine never got broken, but ZZ's did a bunch. Like, again, this kid would go out of their way to fuck with my partners. And I have, this is not just with, with Xena. This happened with every partner I've had except for, I think, one of them. Anyone that asked them to do what they needed to do would get shit. Yeah, dude, when you are in a polyamorous fucking polycule and you have these random fucking people that come in and out of your house like a rotating door to the fucking bunny ranch in Las Vegas and these random fucking people come into your house and they're like, do this, do that, do this, do that. Yeah, bro, I'd be pretty oppositional to that too. Like what? Your kid. This is fucking insane. So I need you guys to understand that, like, you can go watch those other people. You can go look at this document. I'm not going to stop you. But if you do, you're going to get cut out, answer. Judas. You're being lied to. And we're going to show you as much as we can with what we have. The last thing I want to bring up is a uh, really bizarre claim that I actually find really offensive. So one of the claims that was mm -hmm. brought up against us is that we didn't let Adrian have the internet. Took away the internet. Well, they specifically mm -hmm. phrased it to us. You are isolating them. That's mm -hmm. exactly what they would say. Isolate them. Mm -hmm. So here's what happened. Mm -hmm. Adrian would spend hours upon hours upon hours dicking off on Discord or playing video games with their friends instead of- That's crazy. Isn't that what you do? Them. So the issue was, <clears throat> is that what we would end up doing, we would try to come up with consequences because they would lie to us or dick off. And the issue we got into was- This is a fucking 24-year-old adult. There needs to be consequences for them being on the internet all day in a place that they pay rent. Like, it is just mega fucking controlling manipulative behavior. Like- Leave them alone, bro. Like, just imagine if you had a roommate. Like, maybe this could be like a roommate from hell situation. Sure. Like, maybe you're like, damn, this roommate fucking sucks or whatever. But like, if I if I had a roommate that just sucked, I wouldn't be like, so here's the chore wheel for the week, actually, bud. Um, and if you don't complete your chores, I'm actually going to turn off the Wi-Fi and change the password so you can't get on the internet unless you finish your household chores because you're being like a shitty roommate. In what world? In what world? <sighs> Nothing worked. Adrian was too willful. So what we did is eventually said, okay, we can only do one other thing. And that was, we changed the password to the Wi-Fi. We let them not have access to the main internet in the house. Now you might be thinking, oh no, they've lost connection with their friends. Oh dear. Except they didn't. We have T-Mobile plan. Adrian used to be on. They're not anymore. <coughs> but that T-Mobile plan. 
Also, all the whining and moaning and bitching and complaining about getting a job. Do you know how you apply for jobs on the internet? Like, it is God's great year of 2024. Find me a place that doesn't, like, if you go in to apply for a job that they're not, like, apply online. Find me a single place that does that. Other than, like, your local mom and pop shop that still use, like, dial-up internet to ring up your shit at the countertop, right? Like, if you want this kid to be applying for jobs and looking for jobs, like, on, you know, fucking Indeed or whatever the fuck, they need the internet. Like, I don't... We're paradoxically like, get a job, but also we're going to take away the way that you look for the job. I don't get it. I don't fucking get it. Plan came with it, a 10 gig hotspot. So not only did Adrian have their cell phone to be able to interact, talk with their friends on Discord, or be able to write them. They had a 10 gig hotspot they could connect their laptop to, to do the work they needed for looking for resumes, doing that kind of stuff, or just talking to their friends. In fact, I know they used that hotspot because they blew through the 10 gigs really quickly because they didn't understand how downloading works despite it being explained multiple times. Now... <laughs> so they definitely still had internet. On top of that, they would regularly go to the library to do work there for resume stuff as well, as well as looking up certain things like, you know, how you appear at an interview, things like that. The library is like four blocks away, give or take. Why, why go all the way to the library to do like this kind of shit when you can just turn on the Wi-Fi? Like, I I just can't get over it. I, I literally have no words. It's just unfucking believable to me. This is an adult living in your house that pays fucking rent. You're writing their ass about getting a job. You take away the way that they look for a job and then you're like, I don't know, just go to the fucking library. I don't understand this at all. I don't get it, you guys. Help me. And again, yes, this kid had pots. Didn't stop them from shopping. Yeah, it never stopped them from going over all the time shopping. It never stopped them from doing anything they wanted to do. But suddenly it was an issue when they were doing chores. And, so what ended and you know these two are just gonna like cry ableism about fucking everything. But then when it's like, oh, the kid has pots, they're like, bullshit, who cares? Uh. What ended up happening was is we had to start making the guessing game up. Is Adrian actually dealing with their pots or is Adrian lying? No. Oh. <laughs> and there's no way to win that contest because yeah. it would only happen then. And so what we would do is make sure they had like sports <laughs> drinks, we made sure they had snacks and food, we made sure they ate. We tried to do the best we could to make it so they were they were able to function and do this. Because again, look up pots. It's actually really treatable. It's Super treatable. Really treatable with uh, physical therapy, uh, diet changes. So basically, just more fault, really. Um, possibly some medication, eating properly. Bro, eating please, I don't no want to be out of moves. Not that big of a deal. And if they did have an issue, we just went, okay, why don't you sit on the couch, get a snack, sit down, eat for a little bit, set a timer on your phone just in case you get kind of lost, you know, and you get kind of out of it or ADHD kicks in, whatever. And then when you feel better, you start up your chore again and get that done. And we did. We, we had a thing with them of, hey, dude, you gotta get your chores done before you get back on line with your computer. We knew if they went back to their computer, they would get sucked in for hours and hours and hours and hours and hours. Like, I want to be really clear that one of, yeah, you so we encouraged them to take care of themselves and they got mad. They yes. Were, yeah, yeah, no, we had house agreements going back years requiring them to take care of themselves because they didn't. Because Including regularly showering because they would forget. Sleep schedule, consistent sleep schedule. Like, if we didn't step in some of those past years, like, that would just be neglect. And I had to look. It's an adult. It is an adult child. What are you talking about? Like, you... oh my God, please spare me. Please this spare me. Okay. Yes, please adult, spare me. Please, 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 please. How do we handle this? And we went with, no, we do need to step no in. More, need to no more, no more. And make sure that they get medical care properly. Make sure that they get medication consistently, right? Um, You know, have consistent sleep. That's why there were so many schedules in place was for them because they were not managing on their own. I would honestly throw all inhibition to the wind and just say fuck it too. If I was being like micromanaged to the minute that I was allowed to use the bathroom. Like, no shit, they just like kind of rolled over and gave up. Like, and this is a lot. Not a lot. We're not to keep up with. Especially with two people who both have chronic illness. I have pots and parents basically. <coughs> basically, what by the rule? Went by the rule if, if you are not if you're not passed out, you're okay. It ended up being chores that I could do and asking my dad. I need to fix that Here, noise I game. Mean, here's the thing. I'm not saying we were perfect. And towards the end, the last six months, yeah, there was a lot more, like, arguments because Adrian was becoming... But I need you guys to understand that, like, when I talk to my other kids and I support them... Her other kids are the ones that she... The minors that she adopted on Discord, by the way. ...are there for them. Like, I don't have these problems. A lot of kids on the server who have gotten help. Anything from... Oh, yeah. Hell, Nightwile and frickin' uh, Chem are, I consider, like, under my auspice of... Like... They have better conversation. Just don't, I don't have- They need to fix that noise gate. Oh, I'm dying. Adrian just wasn't interested in actually trying. They weren't really interested in actually dealing with these. And so it wasn't until they got mad that they started having restrictions 
that they actually started looking for a new place to live. It wasn't because they wanted to be independent. It was because <laughs> they didn't want to deal with us. Excuse me. And us having some sort of boundary. We're asking for help and trying to work together as a household. Like, I'm not saying, like, there were chores that we did. Like, a lot of the out-of-house stuff, a lot of the running around and doing stuff, that was on ZZ. My mm -hmm. job was to work. And I, chores done when I helped. I generally took care of fun buns or anything that did. Including yeah. going to the vet. Like, we mm -hmm. tried to, so many times, frame this as working as a team. And that's not to say we didn't do dishes. That's not to say we didn't clean things. Like, there are plenty of times that we tried to frame that as this. Really try to work together. But this idea that Adrian had to work eight hours with no food, no one cared about their pots, blah, 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 blah. No, none of this is true. Also, and if you believe it to be true, I'm sorry. You're a fucking idiot. Damn, guys, do you hear that? You guys are all idiots. Uh, she's not talking about me, she's talking about you. You guys all are dumb. And then call them out on it because they decided to give us wrong information despite the fact that we literally found the packet that was filled with all of this information that they should have given us. That their doctor gave to them, yeah. And I went through and I highlighted things like, no, Adrian, you eating regularly and being on the schedule that we have, that we all have agreed on already is actually really good for the pots because it means- Notice how Zena like fucked up there, like the schedule that you were on instead of like, oh, the schedule that we helped to make you be supported. It's like, it. it's so just all about fucking control and shit. But you will eat consistently. I hate that I have to talk about this. I don't want to do this much longer. I, I hate, hate that I've got to go. Because the thing is, is we did our best and tried with this kid. And I, I, I know it sounds work. like I'm being really distant with my language. And it's because, let me be really clear. I fought for so long to try to get everybody in the house to work together. I tried for so long to try to fix it. And eventually I just had to give up because Adrian would not play ball. I had so many arguments with my partner. So many. Trying to figure out what was wrong. And yeah, they just, they would not work with us. Yeah, because you guys are insufferable. They got their Pro and it got better for a while. You know, they, they got done with school and it got better for a while than it was, right back to being awful. And living with them while they were an adult for the last couple of years was fucking hell. So, go ahead. I'm gonna be honest, like, people seem to think that this is an 18 year old, like a currently 18 year old. That is the shit that they are constantly posting about Poppy and I, is that we abused a child. I didn't know this kid as a, as a child. Okay. I like how in this instance, it's not beneficial to frame them as a child. Like, we didn't abuse a kid. This was an 18 year old. But in every other context, it's like, this person was so, like, mentally disabled and stupid and just, like, a fucking piece of shit that we had to make a schedule so they could remember to go to the bathroom. It's like, pick one. This is an adult, much, much older, who had access to every, who had swimming and money. More money than I've ever seen, frankly. I've never had that much money available to me, ever. God damn. Available to me. So, it was the kid's money, clear. by the way. And I'll extend this again when we do the second part when we go over this. <clears throat> and people can talk shit and be really angry at me being harsh about this. But there are two pathways for here, and I'm going to explain both of them. So I'm looking and talking right now to Adrian. Adrian okay, this is where she gets weird. Here's what the situation is. If you would ever like to reconcile with me, you need to take down everything you You know you're lying. You know you're exaggerating. Oh, so we're doing like we're doing like the fucking blackmail shit again. You need to take down everything about me or else. If you don't, you're lying to yourself. <laughs> So, you either can rem remove this stuff, which won't get rid of the document because you've already fucked up there, and it certainly won't stop Kiwi Farms from knowing you are now, but you need to take down the blog and stop this shit. And ask anyone else if you can take down two involving you. Including the document. If you do this, I'm more than happy to meet and talk and discuss and try to find some way to have a relationship despite all of this. It's easy, might not, but- I like how that's like the, the thing. It's like, <laughs> if you take down this document, we can have a relationship. That's your that's your prize. <laughs> that's your prize is that you can have a relationship with your parent. That's your prize, bud. You can have a relationship with your mom. That's what you win. <laughs> but I'm willing to at least extend that that olive branch. Here's the thing, though. If you keep burying your head in the sand, keep lying, and keep pretending that you're not somehow responsible for the fact that I lost my job, because you're a big part of that, as well as the fact that. <coughs> We're now spreading around lies that we supposedly God, my abused allergies. you. You are literally trashing my good name. As good as my, as my good name. <laughs> yes. And the reality is, is that you know you're doing this. So, if you would like to ever have a relationship with me, you need to end this. The other pathway is this. You leave the stuff up, keep lying to these people and letting them weaponize you. It's against you. Because that's what they're doing. They're using you. Yeah. The people that are spreading this thing around do not like me. And you are aiding them and hurting my life. Somehow we turn all the shitty behavior and everything that was horrible about the way that they treated Spawn, they somehow turn this into, this is now about me. Amazing, artful, skillful, like, master level of fucking throw it down, flip it, reverse it, Darvo bullshit. Like, I, it's an art. It's really an art. And it's amazing to watch um, an artist at her craft. It's very, I feel very blessed to be privy to this information. Like, wow. Any of them were actually involved that were some that did some kind of sexual harassment, us or others, or decided that you know, clout and money were more important than actually you know, someone's friend. 
they didn't really test out real high in the loyalty. So here's what's gonna happen. Yeah, blind, blind loyalty is bullshit. Team. And anybody who believes in blind loyalty is a coward. If you do not take this stuff down, I will now I will start pursuing legal action, and you will never reconcile with me. If you don't nuke everything, if you don't take down every mean thing about me, I'm gonna sue you, child. Mm, bruh, this is not this is not the vibe, you guys. This is not the vibe. We're not beating the controlling evil stepmom. Uh, we're not beating the evil controlling stepmom allegations with this one, boys. Like. I don't know how, like, it's, again, it's art. It's amazing to watch a queen at her craft. How do you continually make it worse every time? How? It's, it's truly beautiful to observe. Like, how? How, how, how? Every single time, it you just make it worse. It's incredible. You have gone too far. You've officially crossed the line of, you are now doing harm to me. Just You're now not doing harm easy. to me by saying no, I... that you, I did things that, you know, you didn't like. That's harmful. And the fact of the matter, matter is, is you can either resolve this and still have your mom in your life in some way. Or I'm done. <laughs> and I will pursue legal action for everything you've lied about. Those are the two paths. And this is not ZZ's decision. Either you get mom back or I'm going to sue you. Oh, okay. This is not anyone else's. This is mine. I'm she the didn't tell me about this. Tell her. And I've at least spoke to a couple different lawyers besides the one on retainer. I'm pretty sure that I have a pretty decent libel or defamation. So here's the issue. You know this shit. Oh my god, please. It's like that meme of that guy that's like praying and he's like, please God, let this happen. This would be so fucking funny. <laughs> oh my god. Drop it. Get rid of it. If you want to talk to me about the difficulties you had or the issues you had when you were... You need to A, be honest about them and B... You need to be a grown up and actually talk about them instead of putting them out there like this. You need to be able to engage in my exact style of conflict resolution. Otherwise, I'm going to sue you. You know better. I raised you better than this. <laughs> the apple does not fall far from the tree. I am utterly disappointed that you took this path. Utterly disappointed. Because you are not only putting my life at risk. Because you guys keep making so much noise that Kiwi Farms was bound to fucking get involved. You dumbasses. Oh, we're, but yeah, every oh, person that touches this there. is a potential target. Including you. Crabby, crabby. You never bear. thought this would affect you. You never thought they would find your LinkedIn. Just like no, never thought anyone would find your Facebook. Bro. Oh my God. Why are we the wishing that, here is, is that? like, Don't you wish that evil on your child, Ricky Bobby? What the fuck? I can't do kid gloves anymore. You're not a kid. You're 24. <laughs> You should know better on this stuff. I raised you better than that. But you're so stupid that you have to have basically a full time fucking caretaker, but you know better. Pick one. The people that have been in your life who have been other parental figures have raised you better than this. Marcel raised you better than this. You. If my friend stepped up and helped, I did better. Zena, Renee, a trans woman is speaking. Better. Please be no. quiet. And you, you have spit on all of that because you didn't get your way. Because you got some restrictions. And so you, exa you exaggerated these claims or just outright lied. And you're now putting a bunch of people, including your own mother, at physical risk. Now, don't worry. I'll take care of me. But what happens when they find your address? Hmm, boss. Or what happens when they decide to go after your roommate who has so much more to lose? You know, the this very nice person so that you crazy. live with who works at the very prestigious <clears throat> job? You know that one person that lives with you that lives at 123 South Fork Street? You know that one? The one that lives there whose phone number is 555-555-555? And the last uh, four digits of their social are 1111. You know that one? That friend? That one? You know exactly who the fuck I'm talking about? That one? Right there? Yeah. Mm, better think twice. Bro, what the fuck is this? Gave you a deal on rent money and let you... Despite not having a job at the time? Yeah. But again, you don't care about other people. Because <laughs> you didn't Pot, think meat, this kettle. Through. Pot, meat, kettle. Which sucks because you're really intelligent. I know you know how to do this, but you chose not to. <clears throat> This sucks because you're so much smarter than this, but you're acting like such a dumb fuck right now. Good one. That's really more. What is the saying? You know, you catch more flies with a blank instead of blank. You catch more flies with being a passive aggressive evil mom. Then what? Like, what is that saying? How does that go? You guys remind me. How does that go? <laughs> so you have an option. 
chance at future reconciliation with me if you drop all of this shit and stop it. What's up, Solsome? And stop allying with people that want me dead. I will if that's the case, I'm so sorry, but I'm going to sue the fuck out of you. <laughs> like, oh, oh, okay. And I will nail you as hard as I can with the law. Bro! Listen, I love you. We've been estranged for a while. I want to work on a relationship. I'm willing to work on that relationship with you. If you're not willing to do that, though, I'm going to nail you to the fucking wall. Ooh, chill. I love you. Deep <laughs> But if you keep on this course of action, you are going to be dead. Missy Elliott would love this. Throw it down, flip it, and reverse it. <laughs> you are allying with people who do not care about your will. You are allying with people who are sycophants and people who want to harm me because they don't like me for whatever reason. Maybe I'm just too pretty. I don't know. Mm, Exit out, really but... It's really hard to say that knowing all did. I don't know what if there's ever a way back to... I really don't. I spent years of my life and I hopped into parenting real fucking fast when I got with coffee. I made a decision because I knew I was getting a relationship with kid. And it sucks that every condition like this is Please fix your noise, Gate Zena. Me, and I was not going to always function well. And I was Zena, please. Turn to a vegetable at some point. What life was like for quite a few years. I still tried to make sure there was other services, other people found to help. And it was never enough for me that I just wasn't available. Boo his. And I get to watch Poppy go through all of this stuff. Fuck, bro. Now, with <clears throat> so many people and everything get fucking worse, and us both having to be okay explaining every fucking I am scared to leave the house at this point and leave our dog alone. Last thing I want is some officer finding out that she's afraid because somebody came into the house or somebody tried to come over. Like, no, no, no. This fucks up everything. If you don't care about us, fuck, at least I thought you cared about the dog. So, here's the thing is, I'm just going to say this. I'm not going to keep this going forever. We could go on for days about how hurt or how upset we are. I'm just gonna make it very clear to you. If you have anyone around you, if there's anyone around or close to Adrian who interacts with them via Tumblr or Discord, via I Tumblr, be thousand percent clear. Give them good advice. Tell them. To and the good them. advice is agree with me. And that is the best course of action for everyone. If they actually want to resolve whatever their issues actually are, that is the way to handle this. I am willing to still have a relationship. I don't think Zena will. And Zena's staying in my life. Sorry, that's how that's going. You either respect my wishes, or you're not part of my life. It's very, very, very simple. So, I'm not going to belabor the point. I appreciate people listening to this and hearing us out. If you still think that we're terrible, awful abusers, we're going to be covering the receipts when we get them together and get the document together. I'm ready. Because clearly we have to make sure we do that. And then after that, I will not bring up this topic again. We will not be responding to anyone's videos. Please, bro. This, and I will extend the same thing at the end of the next video. I'm not going to insult you. I'm not going to hurt you. I'm not going to do anything. But I will protect myself. I will protect my community and my partner. So again, if you're someone around Adrian, give them good advice. Very important. All right. That's pretty much it. That was pretty much it, you guys. We made it. There's like a couple of minutes left and it's just, you know, the same shit. We made it. We made it to the end, you guys. We made it. We made it all the way here. We made it. Congratulations. Yay. Everybody give yourself a round of applause. Everybody give yourself a round of applause. We made it. Yay. So that is that. So, like, the only thing that I really took away from this, uh, the only thing I really took away from this is, like, Poppy and Xena continually make, like, everything worse for themselves because they just cannot seem for, like, the life of them to just, like, be quiet. You know what I mean? Like, most of this stuff would, like, most things on the internet, which is unfortunate, but it's true, this would just, like, go away if they would just, like, shut the fuck up, right? Like go away for like a couple of months or whatever the fuck and then come back and it'll be fine like that's how the internet works the internet drama cycle like memory retention is only a few weeks like you're fine um which is unfortunate because you know i don't think that like these people should have a platform but regardless right like we just cannot we just cannot cannot stop putting our feet inside of our mouths it's incredible it is an incredible feat of flexibility and gymnastics like physical and mental gymnastics but like i don't know dude i just like the the fucking that was just like so maniacal and like threatening and just like oh my god i also again love desperately i love desperately um so much with my whole heart that i'm a true scum you guys did you know that i didn't know that that's cool totally true malcolm lore